This video is dedicated to James Humphreys. James, thank you. Zinnia Valley's Voice versus Galadriel, Nahiri, and Azami. Two lands in the opener, not too consistent a means of making tokens in the opening hand, although we've got Surveil to get into another land. We want to be getting down our commander before we start copying or trying to copy things with Offspring. I'll explain the deck in a second, but we'll try and keep this one. Okay, and draw into a land straight off the top with the Fomori Vault, so I think I care more about the turn 3 play than the turn 2 play, so we've got a tap land is the problem, but we'll go for Surveil. We do want three colours in order to play the Zinnia, so, so we'll try and put a land on top here, because obviously we need the three pips from the commander. Bit too early for a clever concealment, so we'll put that... Uh, yeah, I'll put it in the graveyard. Doesn't feel good. But anyway, this deck, I can't remember how I stumbled across it. Uh, I've done some, I'm pretty sure I've done some considerable editing to it since I found it, but it's by a user named OnlyLands. That is only underscore lands. And he had a great idea of making an artifacts theme to the deck because we do have a two mana cost on our creatures with Zinnia to make offspring in order to copy them. Point being that if you run creatures such as Foundry Inspector that makes your artifacts cost one less, of which there's quite a few to choose from with artifacts, then it effectively makes the offspring cost free once you've copied one of these. So if you have a couple of Foundry Inspectors in play, you play a two mana Psalm Simulacrum and then two for the offspring cost into your commander. So a four mana Psalm Simulacrum gaining two of those. So that's the general idea of the list and... It is an idea that was stolen from one of my colleagues. Colleagues is in a fellow EDH player, that is. But just wanted to give credit where it's due. Like I said, I think I've edited the debt list quite considerably. I was messing around with it a few weeks ago at this point, so I can't actually remember. But I'm quite sure I did. A Lanawar Elves for the Galadriel player might be Elf Tribal. Could be a number of different decks Galadriel, so too early to tell yet. Not whether that Nahiri played Axgard Armory as well. Really good land. Talisman of Conviction for the Boros player. And straight into Steel Shaper's Gift has to do that now because it's a sorcery. And reveals with that a living weapon, Bladehold War Whip. So that'll be a 2-2 with double strike when it enters. Argothian Enchantress, so not Elf Tribal then. An Enchantress list, you have to assume. Now ideally we'd be able to play our commander here. Unfortunately not, another 6 drop in the Worm Coil Engine drawn into Bruder Clad as well. So we could go for the Sky Scanner and try and dig a card deeper, just in case we don't draw into a land next turn either. I'd love Oblivion not doing anything at the moment, so yeah, as much as I'd like to get a couple of copies of Sky Scanner, I think it's more intelligent to just dig deeper. And we weren't drawing into a land next turn either, Loyal Apprentice. So it was a good idea to go for Sky Scanner. Still no guarantee that we'll draw a land next turn either though. But Loyal Apprentice and the Idol of Oblivion do go quite nicely together. As army just continuing to hold up blue mana and stay with a full grip. So now seeing the War Whip come into play for 3 mana after seeing it tutored previously. No plays for the Bant player either. And then we see ourselves an Esper Sentinel. So again we want to be copying these types of things really but we're just in mode in which we have to try and get into some lands so let's go Loyal Apprentice and the Esper Sentinel and then maybe Idol of Oblivion can start drawing us cards next turn with the Loyal Apprentice. Oh actually I think you need to, yeah that's Lieutenant so you need to control your commander with this. Oh well we've got every chance of drawing into lands with Esper Sentinel at least. Urza's Tower for his army just keeps playing lands and passing. Hopefully Nahiri starts to deal some damage over here and or maybe force his army to start interacting. Citizen Crowbar played into Esper Sentinel. Looks as though the tax has been paid, unfortunately. Oh no. Draws us into another non-land in Shurikai. At least we don't care about copying Shurikai because it is legendary. But can't afford it at the moment. Might be forced to play out our Foundry Inspector early. Even though we definitely want to get copies of this to get the free offspring cost. Anyway, a Nettle Seist is a germ that is currently a 4-4. And the 2-2 swings in at us, fine. 4 damage and double strike. Not sure 
Why are you not worried about his army, personally? The Bant player didn't do anything during that turn cycle, surprisingly. Alright, turn five, let's see if we can get a fourth land. <laughs> no, we can't. Wow. Uh, Alright, so... That means that we have to go for the Foundry Inspector. Luckily, we did just draw into the Enthusiastic Mechanaut, which is pretty much the same thing. So, Foundry Inspector, if we don't make a land yet again, then we can at least go Solemn Simulacrum to force the land. The blue player finally going for something. It is Azami, the first chance he gets on turn 5. Summoning Sickness doesn't affect the Wizards here, so can tap that down for a card draw. And two commanders in a row. Shows us Nahiri, forged in Fury. And then we see a Minas Tirith just in time as well, so can attack him with two creatures and draw a card this turn if he wants to. Instead deciding to throw out a Bureau Headmaster. And is holding up a single white mana, so could go for the activation on the crowbar to blow something up. Again, the double strikes coming in at us. The citizen to the left. I'm not sure where the germ's going. But exiling the top cards with Nahiri in order to be able to play stuff this turn, so... A fighter class, lizard blades, and rabbit battery. Spreading the damage, the germs going to the right. And of course the equipment can be played without paying the mana cost, so just losing out on a fighter class here. Uh, I think we'll just take four damage again. Might be risky, someone might have a board wipe, but I don't think so in this scenario. I don't think that Eladamri is going to play out his creatures into a board wipe like that. So I think we can hold off on the Sky Scanner to block something bigger. So then we see Rabbit Battery and the Lizard Blades hitting play for free. Equipping the Citizen's Crowbar onto the Germ Token, so that's now a 7-7. And then moves the Nettle Seist onto the Commander, so this is now an 11-11. And does risk Commander damage, so yeah, could go for Double Strike onto someone next turn. We have to be wary of re-equipping stuff at instant speed. Probably worth blocks on this regardless. Just have to hope that there's no trample or protection from colours, any kind of evasion really. A Verdant Embrace being played into Esper Sentinel to draw as a card thankfully. We'll draw a card with the Argothian Enchantress as well. That goes on to the Mana Dork. So at the beginning of each upkeep you make a Chump Blocker. <laughs> Once again not seeing a land. Seeing the first Sapraling token from the Lanoir Elves. And I'm sure we'll get into a land here. Or not. Uh, Reaver Cleaver is going to be 5 to play and equip, so yeah, and it's not even worth it here. I mean, yeah, it's just Solemn Simulacrum, isn't it? We'll go for a Plains because we don't have a single double red cost in the deck. I've just looked at the deck list while I was waiting for my opponents. So there, we'll just leave it at that, I think. We are going way, way too slow here. Drawing a card with his army, as you would expect. And I think I'll just get rid of the Brooder Clad, not looking to do anything cute with that this game, I don't think. Merchant Scroll searches up a blue instant card. <laughs> and once again, the Mask of Memory might tempt me to not go for blocking with the Sky Scanner though. I mean, really Nahiri that I'm more worried about, and we can chump block that with a Solemn Simulacrum anyway. But having a flyer makes Mask of Memory a lot better. Searches out a Frantic Search, and plays that immediately. Discards two lands, and then gets himself into a Chrome Mox, and throws under that a blue spell, as you would expect, a Curse of the Swine. So, might have another board wipe in hand. Emery, Lurker of the Lock, and he can make use of that the turn it comes in, thankfully, because, again, the Summoning Sickness doesn't matter, so, some more Mill. See a Lotus Petal, a Delay, Baral, and Urza's Mine, so missing out on Tron. Draws with his army. The equipment player going for the reconfigure on to Nahiri. So double strike on there. We just need to hope that there's no kind of evasion now. An 11-10 double striker. And I'm hoping that he starts to look over at his army because we're seeing some pretty busted cards over here like the Moxons and Baral. Anyway, through the rabbit battery onto the citizen token as well and then continue to swing in. So swings in at us with the double striker again, citizen to the right, germ to the right, only a 1-1 now, and yeah, takes the commander into the left. Um, go through to blocks, has exiled some stuff of course. Exiled a hexplate wall breaker, dragon wing glider, don't know if I've seen that one before. Plus two, plus two, flying in haste, another living weapon. Ember cleave, really good, and hex gold halberd as well. So pretty much just has... 
equipment in the deck by the looks of it. Chump block with Solemn to not draw a land. And the Emery being thrown in the way of the big double striking commander. Throws Ember Cleave onto the battlefield for just a couple of red mana I imagine. Pays for the Esper Sentinel tax when he does that. And there we see the first counter spell from the Mono Blue player. It's only a matter of time. We will draw a card with the Esper Sentinel. Place your bets. If you said land, you're more optimistic than I am. Well done. Drawing a card with his army there as well, so completely tapping out. Some Simulacrum dies, of course, so get another chance. Drawing to Duplicant. And down come the free equipment here. So the Halberd, the Glider, and the Wallbreaker. Meaning that the Blasphemous Act can still get the Nahiri at the moment. And the Crowbar being thrown onto the Bureau Headmaster. Uh, decides to uh, sacrifice that in order to get rid of the Aura, the Verdant Embrace. So Nahiri making an enemy of everyone here. Ending the turn with Bitter Thorn, Nissa's Animus. Yet another living weapon. But this one will get some land ramp. Haven't played too much with this one. I do put Dowsing Dagger in lists. And uh, Sword of the Animist in lists that care about land ramping or aren't very good at land ramping and would like to, I mean. So like Azorius lists and things like that. Apparently Jeskai ones. But I haven't ever played with this and it is just three mana. Turn it in sideways and rampant growth and hopefully you can get it through on multiple occasions. Yeah, the extra two mana to play and equip kind of put me off, but I should probably give it a whirl at some point. I was. I just saw, I wish I called it now. Isn't it annoying when you predict something but you don't call it? I saw the six mana floating and thought, I wouldn't mind a farewell to be honest. So, yeah, I mean, exile everything you have to assume, including the graveyards. And that's what we needed really. Ah, forgot about the artifact land. Ugh, that's the risky rum. We now do not have red mana. Did draw into a shadow spear with the Esper Sentinel on the way out. Now, how can we make tokens we can't at the moment I don't think I'm just trying to think of drawing extra cards with Idol of Oblivion I don't think that's going to happen for us so we'll just try and get as many permanents down as possible here so that we don't have to discard quite as much but still going to have to discard three and we're back in top deck mode here as army lady of scrolls straight back into play <laughs> awesome and then the Boros player just decides to scoop I don't know he had a decent number of uh Lands in play, and I'm not sure how many lands he had available to him. But yeah, if anyone should be scooping here, it's me. Galadriel into play for the first time. Are we going to see three commanders in a row here? Our dear friend the Boros player is going to have to eat a bam for that, I'm afraid. Scry two and draw off the Galadriel when the Manadork enters, a Findhorn Elves. Well, that would have been handy if we had some red mana. Could have accelerated a little bit at least. But no, nope. uh, we might as well. Just throw out the Mask of Memory and continue to do absolutely nothing. As army draws, mind over matter. <laughs> we can't make lands and meanwhile there's a mind over matter over here. Draws with his army up to six. And in for a second tutor, in mystical tutor this time. Searches for a treasure cruise with nothing in the graveyard. Discards Sower of Temptation in order to untap his commander. And draws with the his army again. Discards Reliquary Tower to untap his army so... We see the end result here. If he can get into another Moxon, he can maybe just go for Thoracle Combo, which always enrages people when I point this out for some reason, but I did ask for a casual power level 6 game, so I don't expect to see Thoracle, but maybe our opponent isn't doing that. We'll see. He's just continuing to tap for card draw and then untap with some discard fodder. And then exiles the stuff from his graveyard to cast a Treasure Cruise, so... Maybe that's all he was aiming to do. No, he does continue to do the draw discard thing. Started on tapping lands now. Yeah, so he just told us that he just straight up wins here. So that was a large waste of time. Hopefully you'll all get some kind of um, amusement out of that. This can just be some kind of exhibition game that I show you all in a few weeks time, I imagine. A few months time, maybe. But I'm off to get a real game with Zinnia, hopefully. And I will see you all in the next one. I'm Travel Kai. Thank you for watching.